this is the first time me and hubby have actually been out the house I think in about four days so we thought we'd pop round the shops I didn't do all the shops video in um, we went into Dunelm um, went into B&M B&Q Aldi and we had to go into in and out um, to book the car in for its service and MOT I did do some video in in um, Home Sense and we got one or two little bargains. I have got what I keep mentioning my wish list. Um, we had a couple of things added on. Um, a family member was a little bit heavy ended with um, his dad's potato peeler. I like the old sort of potato peeler, but hubby likes the ceramic one, is that correct? Oh yeah, because I'm not sharp. Sure and so we had to go and get another one well he actually bought two as a backup as a backup yes so um at the moment it's not too bad um weather wise it's just nice to get out a bit although it is very stuffy in the stores isn't it yeah so um we may be going to another retail park i haven't given hobby a definite answer yet i said that i'd let him know as we get close I hate to say this because we were going to go to town and I said I just didn't feel like it and he was shocked he did roll his eyes and couldn't believe it I don't think I've got the stamina now um, for a lot of shopping but I am being very careful what I purchase um, and what I bring into the home Still and yeah we're after a couple of things um, one thing's been on our wish list um, for over 12 months we were looking last year I would like a set of three different size Parex dishes with the lids. They can run expensive and we've got, I mean we've been married as I said 30, um, just over 30 years and we're down to the last one that's got a slight um, rough edge on the handle um, for my wedding presents so they haven't done too bad. Um, I do like my Parex dishes and um, because you can use them in the oven and you can use them in the microwave and everything um, but I'm not going to pay a fortune for them and as I said this set we've had as a wedding present so um, I said to hubby we'll wait till we get nearer to the retail part whether we decide to stop off or not right we have decided um, to go to another retail park um, They've got um, a few shops. We want to pop into Wilco's. We do have about, is it three Wilco's here? Yeah. We've got one which is at the um, Western Favour, Western Favour shopping centre that I've taken you to before. We have one in our town centre and one on this retail park. Um, it wasn't until I actually started filming um, the different stores that I actually realised how many different shops we have got although it's like any place um, around the country there is certain stores that have obviously um, closed down or closing down we do miss Marks and Spencers and British Home stores and it looks really um, dead along um, that stretch in our town centre because they were next door to one another so um, this um, retail park is not what I call one of the biggest stores um, retail parks but the because it's got home base it has taken quite a bit of the retail park and there we are it's the Riverside Retail Park it's packed. and yes we're queuing up and it's packed um, if anything like us possibly maybe this is the first time they've got out in a few days I know a lot of people are back to work our son had to go back to work and I did manage to get a number of um, loads of washing done yesterday and get all his work clothes done. So, and I did the lounge up. I didn't film it in the end because partly it got late. I maybe thought, today. Maybe today, yes. Um, it just started getting later when I've up, been uploading these videos and I do apologise. I will say I did not wear my pyjamas constantly over Christmas. 
Christmas Eve I did film and I was in my what I call my Christmas um, lounge set and then you did see me here now on obviously Christmas morning um, I can't say the same for other members of the family me but we do have who doesn't like a pajama day especially if you have three three days in a row I don't care it was comfy yes so um, there's hubby's favourite coffee shop, Costa. So we'll see how we get on anyway. Gone. Are you recording? Yeah. Oh, where's my ears gone? It's delayed. Yeah, it's only a split second. Camera, not phone. Is my ears up? I'm yeah. only going to put them up briefly. Right, okay. <sighs> right, we have got back from our shopping trip. We have also um, had lunch. It is getting dark now. Um, we did have a rest while we watched um, Enterprise, a couple of episodes of Enterprise. And I'm wearing my um, reindeer fleece jacket that I got from the car boot in the summer. This was a pound and I think it's quite cute with the antlers. Well, anyway, let's get down to the haul. Right, the first um, store we went into was um, Dunelm and we went on the hunt um, for the ceramic um, potato peelers and Dunelm because they've got quite a big um, cookware and kitchenware we thought we were bound to find it there but unfortunately they didn't have the ceramic um, potato peeler but I did get um, it was all I think 20% off so I got my um, Egyptian um, hand towel and um, I believe this was two it could have been two pound forty I think without looking at the receipt again I am not 100% sure and I also got the flannel which was a pound that's to do a DIY so that's the first one um, reduced down to two pounds each we like these microfiber um, dry mats and I've got two in cream um, either I've used them for the home or the caravan we use these um, an awful lot as you probably could see and I say I didn't mention they were two pounds each again everything um, was 20% off um, these the tissue boxes and I'm glad it actually they left them in the little baggies um, these were reduced down to 50p each and I think they're so cute. They've got the Santa Claus there and they've got the um, polar bear and the penguin. And I've got two boxes of those up for next year. Now, I always have a small budget for after Christmas for anything that might be still on the wish list. Um, to see if I can get it reduced in the sales and also anything to be put up. For next Christmas um, and that's what I tend to do now after we went into um, Dunelm we went a couple of doors down and they got B&M and £1.50 I bought this lovely um, Christmas um, plastic plate for our granddaughter ready for next Christmas and I said instead of um, £2.49 it was £1.50 so I thought that was really good and it, it's really cute Christmas dinner um, and it's got yummy roasters and it's got your turkey and you've got a little space if you want to put some pud on there and gravy and I just think that is so cute I keep saying this and I know I repeat myself and I will say it over and over again I do prefer to buy things like this after Christmas rather than pay the full price if I can 
something that is actually repeat buy is we do like the cushioned bath pillow and this was 3 99 I did pay as far as I remember full price for that we did get one more of the gingerbread um, lattes for our Tasimo because um, again they're limited edition and I'm not sure if they're going to obviously be uh, once they sold out of these I don't know if they're going to um, have any more these do, do last until September 2019 yes as if they are going to last that long may even have to um, get some more. last time we need to be in them I did actually empty I think the whole four packets that were there I did leave one packet in case somebody else wanted one um but i could drink i could have those any time of year um we don't do a food shop but something we like with um either rice or chips just as a quick meal in between um we've actually had christmas dinner two days running we had it christmas day and then i did another one i say hubby did that one and then we had one boxing down yesterday without the pickies and blankets because we still had a lot of veg which hubby did too much but he did the lovely bacon pieces in it as well so all i did was we had leftover turkey and i did yorkshire pudding again did some more roast potatoes cranberry sauce and everything and it was lovely in fact hubby enjoyed it more because he didn't have to stand over and cook it. Um, also from B&M, something again, a repeat buy, is more of these um, dry mats. Now we may have the cream ones in the caravan and the black and grey because they'll go with the kitchen at home. And the black one is obviously a lot bigger. And these were four pounds. I don't know if that was the price before Christmas. I did vow I wouldn't buy any more Christmas pyjamas, but these were um, reduced down to £5 from £9.99, and it is the Grinch. Um, resting Grinch face. So, I'm going to show you there. And I think it's so cute, and let me just bring it to an angle. If you can see the pyjamas. And um, I just love them. I have got a bigger size. I am, I'm a cross between a 14 and a 16. I did get 16 and 18. Um, I do like my PJs um, slightly bigger. And sorry to press on. I will get the jumps out. And I think they're just lovely. Look at that. For five pounds, I'm sorry, but you can't beat that. And I will more than likely be keeping these up for next Christmas. And that is the design to say i think they really are lovely and we are replacing the pillars as i may have said so we've got the um slumber down two pack climate control pillars medium support and they were special buy seven pounds so that's the pillars. i'm gonna leave them there because they're a bit big so that is dunelm and b m then the other side of the retail park, we went into um, Home Sense and bingo. Hubby did manage to get the potato peelers. He didn't just get one, he got two, two different types. Not sure, is that Michelin? So I understand that was the more expensive make, so I've got a feeling that might have been two or three ninety nine. Hubby did actually purchase these himself while I was shopping and the other one is this make and it's the green one so he wasn't taking any chances while he was um, purchasing those and I did some filming as you probably already watched I got a couple of little bits the first one is this really big cushion and it's got um farm fresh veggies local produce picked fresh daily and it is big now i don't know what the original price was of this it then went down to 12 pounds and i paid just 
a fiver for it. And it actually included the pad. And as you can see, it is big. It is a really big cushion. And I've got a bad, bad habit of sitting on the floor, even though we've got sofas and everything. And um, if I had a farmhouse look in my house, I'd love it, especially in my kitchen. It's something that I've always wanted. But I just love the cushion. And it's really big. And I thought, if anything, it it is really... Um, solid and the best thing is that I normally check as well if it's something like this that I'm going to probably be on the floor and um, it's going to be probably get dirty it does unzip which is really handy so there it is let's try and find the zip so at least I know that the cover does come out and look to tell you the truth I think you would even pay that for the insert um it's cotton filling uh waterfowl feathers doesn't mean a lot to me but it is a lovely cushion and as i say i often also sit on the floor do a multiple of things i do crafting sometimes if i'm in the lounge i'm sorting laundry so this is my cushion and as I said they did have three and I nearly picked another one up but it's storing this because it is a big cushion I haven't got any cushions that size also um from home sense um this is one of them there's only a couple of items that I've actually paid full price this was 5 99 and this is a caddy for my sink now, I will be starting an organisation um, series. Um, I do organise all through the year. A lot of my um, systems do work. Sometimes may need a bit of tweaking. But like anybody else, as it goes into the new year, like um, I want to get rid of my drainer and I just want to use the mats. Like I said, I've got the cream and the black ones but i wanted something for my drainer and i think this is really nice and i'll try and put it up there so you can see if you can see that so basically um you've got this so you can put your washing up liquid and it's got like a brush sponge now when i buy the really big washing up liquid there's no way it's going to go in there but i've kept a couple of the small um like plastic bottles like it shows on here so I might be able to fit that in there and then you can put your little um, sponges and cloths in everything and what I like about this it's got this two prong here so you could put your um, dish cloth over so it gives it time to um, dry out and air excuse me air so I think that is a really good idea and as I say that was 5 99 that was actually a full price item but for what it is I thought brilliant and i think it looks um very pleasing on the drain board along with my mats so that concludes the few bits i got from no i've got one more sorry home sense this is actually to keep up um for next year this was down to three pounds and it is for a family member who's into fishing i hope that's a clear and it's got look a little fishing rod phone i think that's just cute and that is actually been reduced down to three pounds i've seen a lot of this style um decorations this year um as i said before and i just think it's kind of cute as a fisherman right then we went to book the car in for its um, service and MOT at in and out we popped into Aldi just quickly to have a look there wasn't anything there that sort of um, jumped out at me as I normally say then we went next door to that and we went to um, B&Q um, then we went on to another retail park and we popped into Poundland I wasn't going to go into Poundland but hey, Poundland was there. It was mostly going for Wilco's. 
So the first item, I'm sure these have been um, shown, but I hadn't seen them. Maybe I should have got three. I got two of these with the like the copper lid and I know you're supposed to have them, I think, in um, odd numbers. And maybe I should have got another, at least another one. And I think they are gorgeous. Look at those. And they were a pound each. And then to go through the post, I have actually um, shown this before. It's the little planner. And I've gone through all this before. It's the work home play planner. I want to send it through the post. And there we are. I don't know whether you can see that. But I love the design on that. That was a pound. And... My son only has tomato soup. Now these are the smaller cans, but they were 50 pH, so I thought for a pound, I just got the two cans of soup. As I said, we don't do a full shop between Christmas and New Year, although I have got to get my joints for New Year because we have got company. Now, the next few items were Christmas items and they were 50 pence each. So that's one reason I wanted to pop in. I got two of these that light up. And the reason I bought these is because although I didn't put them out, after Christmas last year, I had two white um, trees. And, and I thought with these, the white trees, maybe some fake snow, I might, as something next year, I might do white tree um, sort of decoration. I have got a large um, white tin house that you put a candle in. I think that's a bit on the big side, but whether I can find something or even paint um, um, maybe one of these wooden houses you can get from the works or hobbycraft or something for next year. This is what I mean by arranging things or sorting myself out for the next year, especially if it's I like, so are. you've got the materials in and you haven't had to pay full price. Now, I bought two packets of these. These are actually tree decorations. Maybe it's me. It's not the sort of thing I would normally purchase if I can open the packaging. They possibly did have these over Christmas or before Christmas. I don't remember seeing them. And they are these. And it's got a little bead and this string. And that one's the glove. It's a set of six. So there's two of each design. There's the hat. And there is the jumper i haven't necessarily bought these for our tree next year i bought them because i opened it up because they're white on the back that means i could use um a sharpie on the back or even maybe just stick a label on there to and from and you've got lovely tags so you've got six tags for 50p and i mean they are really strong so it's just a little something then um the the person who receives the gift can take them off the present and put it on their own tree if they wish so either use a sharpie or i put a sticky label on the back so i can write on it then they could just peel the label off if they wish so i have got two packets of those as I say, I do like to find different ways of wrapping um, gifts and putting little embellishments on the parcels. Now, I couldn't pass this up. I don't know how many I've bought this year. But 50 pH, and I had to go and get the red ones, didn't I? Um, I was paying a pound um, before Christmas for these. Um, but, hey ho, I had to get another couple. Another item I do not remember seeing, unless um, I just wasn't looking out for it, it's the Slay the Look and Jingle Nails. So it's a nail polish with the stickers. And I've got a red lipstick, lip tint. Um, it does say adult use only. Um, I'm not sure 
because it's a tint I'm not sure how um, strong it, you know how bright it's going to be but isn't the packaging adorable and they also were 50 pH I had contemplated on getting some more and keeping them up um, for stockings but I just got the two I was trying to be very reserved this year and I was doing really well um, because when we went into Dunham hubby did count the tissue boxes as a Christmas decoration I don't um, but I was doing well up until I got to Poundland I know I got the pajamas but anyway I got if you remember these in Poundland with the names on and actually if you wanted to you got two and from on the back um, we were in the queue and the queue went really um, long today so I've got one for one of my sons Daniel ready for next Christmas and um, because I couldn't find my name and I couldn't find Christopher I got grandma and granddad so I'm really happy with those and these were all 50p each um, if I'd had a bit more um, time and we weren't in the queue I was keeping an eye on hubby and as he was getting closer and closer to the cashiers I was going through the whole lot to see if I could find um, the names I wanted but they're the three main ones I wanted to get for next year for this household and as I may have said and I know I've seen them in Wilco's and yes I actually got my set of Parix dishes I hope you can see that okay it's a set of um three glass um casserole set with the lids i'm not sure how well that is going to show up and this was a safe wilco's 10 pounds i think that was too too bad actually and it's one of those items that actually it's been on my wish list for over a year um i was down to um two my large one and my smallest one. My smallest one had lost um, the lid at all crack. The middle one had totally gone years ago. And the larger one, it was just, I should have dumped it ages ago and hubby kept saying about it, was just a little bit sharp on one of the handles. So I'm glad I got that. And we got the vegetable peelers. There was only the smaller extension lead, which is no hardship because we have got two or three of them. I just wanted my own. I used to have my own extension lead that I could keep in the house, especially to operate the light because it's got such a small cable to the plug. Now, I believe that's everything that I've actually bought today. And I've kept on track and we were really good because I paid cash for everything um, so um, we was well well within budget so I hope you've enjoyed this um, shot with me in home sense and my mixed haul thank you goodbye